Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. New month. Let's freaking go. So happy Tuesday. I hope your Monday went well. And yeah, let's hop into a little new month. Why don't we? And let's have a Tuesday. So a little bit of a late morning message. Slept in a little bit this morning because I need to catch up on some sleep. So yeah, I just finished up a little workout. And technically, this is like a a little bit of a later afternoon message, but we're still gonna call it a morning message. So, yeah, so today's message is gonna be about living within each phase, each day within our lives. And I'm gonna read my caption that I put for my reminder post today. So, yeah, let's hop into it. Okie dokie. So, let's read a little reminder post, a little Tuesday reminder. For some reason, March just feels like it should be a Wednesday, like today, March 1st, for some reason, but you know, it's a Tuesday. So, happy Tuesday. So little Tuesday reminder post caption goes something like this. The rest of your life can be determined by one simple decision. To be honest, to hold ourselves accountable, to do the things that we know we need to do, especially when we do not want to do them, to prioritize, to live within each day, to live within each phase of our lives, to take things when to take things one step at a time, one decision at a time, to make the best decision the best version of ourselves would make, and to go with a decision that feels just a little bit more right than the other. Let's stack our days with these simple decisions. So when I was writing this, I was really just writing this from the core, my soul, this morning. And one of the, I think, one, one of the pieces that I wanted to elaborate on a little bit and speak this morning message on was one of the decisions that I put kind of in the middle of that caption, which was living within each phase of our lives and living within each day and taking, taking things as they come and taking things one day at a time. So I think one of the things that I will sometimes find myself doing kind of subconsciously without me realizing is, you know, sometimes I will, I think we're often in search of this identif identity, you know, identifying with certain interests, careers, passions, um, who we used to be, what we used to do. Um, you know, I feel like we kind of find that to find a sense of identity, security, um, or, you know, whatever reason. And I think sometimes, you know, that's totally cool and okay and everything. Um, but I think sometimes what can be thinking that way detrimental to our current state is whenever we prevent ourselves from really stepping outside of that identity or preventing us from experiencing new things or people or situations or circumstances or passions or interests that you don't know that could really serve you long term. And I think more on a broad scale, what I'm trying to speak to is that sometimes, I think myself included, and that's all that I can really speak to with these messages and all, you know, <laughs> all the time, I can't really speak for anyone else, but um, I find myself sometimes, you know, kind of you know, identifying with certain things that happened in our past, but then a lot of times also worrying about what might be in store for my future, right? next week, next month, next year, uh, five years from now, 10 years from now, like who I'm going to be. And what I found is that, or what I've really kind of realized from kind of subconsciously thinking this way is that it, it takes away from my experience in today, like in the present, in the now. And sometimes I think we, we make decisions. I think it's super, you know, encouraged and totally should absolutely prepare for the future but also understand that you have to live where you're at like you have to live within each day of your life and live within each phase of your life as well so i know personally for me i used to like the way that i was kind of making decisions like my decision making process was almost catered towards always living for the present or not the present the future always living for the future right i would base my my living situations, my personal finances, my um, you know investing decisions, my risk appetite almost towards living in the future, like 10, 15, 20 years down. Like, oh, I'm gonna make decisions now as if I'm gonna be ready for whenever I have a family. Like, I'm gonna be super prepared for that. And obviously I'm, I'm making decisions in the present um, that will obviously one day be conducive to all of that. Um, but I think, I, but what I found myself doing was that I think I was subconsciously not wanting to confront or be honest with 
I think the person that was evolving in the present form of myself because I was constantly living in the future and constantly preparing for this future life that I kind of found myself not wanting to kind of live in each day and within each day and within each phase of my life. And I wasn't, it was taking away from my ability to develop these skill sets um, as far as you know, these things that I kind of say um, with these simple decisions, right? Um, I was kind of lacking in a lot of those areas, right? I was, I was kind of scared to be honest with myself. I wasn't really developing this really good um, accountability, discipline, confidence, um, because I was kind of constantly living in this future version of myself where, you know, that future version of yourself ultimately comes from actions you take in the present, in the now. And I think oftentimes we can find ourselves so much living so much in the future, right, that we kind of one day we kind of wake up, right? Or we have these realizations, like life kind of feels like it's just passing us by. We're kind of just going through the motions and one day we wake up and boom, we're a certain age. Boom, we we feel um, I don't know. And then we kind of maybe identify like, oh, I'm too old to do this. I'm not I'm not this type of person that would do this. Like I'm the, past my my age, right? And like one day we just wake up and like boom. Like what, where did life go, right? And that's why I think it's super important to live within each phase of your life and then to break it down even further, living within each day of your life and indulging in certain times and experiences, right? Like you're never gonna be as young as you are today. Like you are, you are never going to be as young as you are today. And that's what I kind of keep telling myself and always tell myself and remind myself. You know, I was kind of actually talking about this with my friend Meg the other day. And we were saying like, you know, what if you found out that you were actually you knew like when you were going to actually no longer, you know, be around. Like what if you, like today was your last day, right? Um, or like if you were actually, you never, <laughs> you were immortal, right? And you, you live forever. Um, like how, would you, how differently would you go about your days? And I think that's actually a good practice or um, I guess, um, yeah, practice, I guess to kind of think about it, right? Like how you're going about your days right now. Like it's super cool, like courage, right? And, and cool to, prepare for your future and what that might may hold. But um, I think it's also super important to like live within each day, like live within each phase. And you know, there's this saying like, oh, you only live once YOLO. Like, oh, like if you, you never know when you're gonna die, right? Um, maybe that gives people like a, like a cue to live within each day. And I think that might be a cue for people to then live like recklessly. And that's not what I'm trying to say by any sense of the message at all. I'm saying that take, you know, calculated risk, right? Based upon your certain risk appetite with where you're at in your life. And, you know, take full advantage of with whatever phase you're at in your life. And I think you, you, you always have this ability to, to be whoever you want to be, to be the best at whatever you want to do. Um, regardless, you know, with whatever phase you're at in your life, um, you know, it might be easier to, to do things when, when you don't have a lot of responsibilities, right? Maybe when you're a little bit younger in your life, but I think it's important to really indulge and live within each day and taking things day by day as they come and understanding that each day is an opportunity to become a new and best, the best version of yourself. And I would just end this little message about living within each day, within each phase of your life by saying that it is never too late to be who you want to be, to be the best at whatever it is that you want to do, whoever you want to be, to be the best version of yourself. It's never too late to do that. You can always do that. You always have this door that's open to you, right? And you can always start taking steps towards that person. And maybe that potential, that potential version of yourself, it's always, that's kind of always what we're chasing, right? And you always have that opportunity to you each and every day within each phase of your life. And there's, they're not bound by these certain ages or numbers, right? They're just numbers. So live within each day, take things one day at a time, one step at a time, and really indulge in where you're at right now in this very moment. So that's all I got for today's morning message, mid afternoon message and happy Tuesday, happy March. And let's have a March. Why don't we? Let's have a good rest of our Tuesday, why don't we? And I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys.
Peace.